Hello everyone, this is uh, another in the ongoing series of building a fiberglass encapsulated foam teardrop trailer. And this is what got me started on this whole thing. I was watching videos from an Australian company that bonds Phylon. Actually, they use a Italian brand, I believe. Who knows, maybe they make all the Phylon. I watched a video of their factory in Italy and yeah, they make a lot of fiberglass skins. At any rate, I glued it down, just put a little bit of weight on it, didn't roll it or anything. And I think it came out fairly smooth. It's a little bit wavy, but like I said, I didn't even roll this. I just put some weight on it. So as you can see, I am building a buck, which is what I will form the trailer shape with. Rather than trying to cut it in angles and make big pieces and glue it together, which admittedly would probably be easier. I want something that's gonna maximize the strength of the system. And I think molding it, basically once the buck is built, the inside piece of phylon will wrap, be wrapped around the buck. There'll be a recess right here. And basically that's how it will end up being constructed. The outer piece of phylon will, will overlap the buck so that this piece will be exactly perfect for fitting the sidewalls on. And here you can see the foam. I've cut two pieces of foam. I did notice one thing. This is an old piece of called the uh, Comfort Code Board. And this new piece is called Sopra XPS 20. The new piece is slightly thicker, even though they're both sold as one inch foam. I haven't decided yet. I may go ahead and get another piece of foam. And this foam is 17 years old, but not that it makes any difference. It hasn't been outside at all. But it would be easier if they're both exactly the same size. At any rate, I'm in the process of building the buck, which is going to be quite awkward because of the weight. I don't have enough Luan to use Luan for the skin in between the buck pieces. So I'm going to have to use some more 716 OSB board along the bottom and along the top. It's going to greatly increase the weight, but I do have a chain fall. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> uh, where did I use it? I guess it's out. Oh, no. I guess it's out in the shed somewhere. It doesn't matter. I have a chain fall. I can lift the whole thing up anyway. But I believe putting the outer and inner, the top and bottom skin on, is gonna be easier just leaving it sitting on this sawhorse assembly. I just have to get it straight. You can see there's a little bit of a bow there, so I just have to shim it all up and make sure it's all straight. And I guess that's it for today. Not for work, but for videos. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.